Like much of Joplin, St. John's Hospital was ripped apart by the EF5 tornado that tore through the city on May 22, 2011. With windows smashed, equipment demolished, and power out, the building was ruined and every patient evacuated. When the first winds came through, everything blew everywhere. The, the ceiling tiles, the, you could feel the water coming in. And uh, we just checked our patients and uh, started going room to room and making sure everybody was okay. The damage was so great that the building was demolished in 2012. Its replacement is springing to life just a few miles away and is designed to withstand the next great twister. If we do have another event like we had, we will be able to maintain operation of this facility and not have to close it and evacuate patients. Outside, a poured concrete roof and precast concrete skin will add a new level of resistance against flying debris. Inside, patients can ride out a tornado in special safe zones. We'll actually have storm doors inside the hospital, reinforced corridor walls and reinforced ceilings where we can actually evacuate patients that are able to move. Every window will be constructed of laminated safety glass, while the neonatal and ICU wards have even greater protection. Those patients are so critical that you can't really relocate them sometimes to a safe zone in the hospital. So actually, the windows in the ICU and all of our critical areas will be rated for 250 mile an hour winds and will be able to withstand a force hitting it at 100 miles an hour. Mercy Joplin is set to open in early 2015. Its new safety features will be a welcome addition to patients and staff. To feel that you're in a structure that's going to hold, that's going to keep you safe, it makes it easier to continue working and not be unnerved by the weather.